In the heart of the Galactic Federation's military headquarters, General Zalnor stood in his chambers, his elongated four-fingered hands clasped behind his back, tentacles twitching with anticipation. A holographic display flickered to life before him, showcasing reports of a new threat emerging on the fringes of known space, a death world harboring a deadly secret. As the leader of the Federation's formidable armada, General Zalnor prided himself on his strategic prowess and unyielding dedication to protecting all sentient races under the Federation's banner. But the information contained in these reports threatened to shake the very foundation of his beliefs. According to the intel gathered by reconnaissance drones, this death world, aptly named Hades Prime by the explorers who barely escaped its clutches, was unlike any other planet in the known galaxy. Its atmosphere was laced with toxic gases, its surface scarred by perpetual storms that unleashed deadly lightning strikes, and its flora and fauna evolved into fierce predators capable of ripping apart steel with ease. Yet the most unsettling detail was not the planet's inhospitable conditions, but a discovery made by a team of brave researchers who dared to set foot on its surface. The shocking truth they uncovered about Hades Prime's native inhabitants sent shivers down General Zalnor's exoskeleton. General, a voice echoed through the chamber, drawing his attention to the holographic projection of Commander Vexil, his trusted advisor. The reports are confirmed. The death welders of Hades Prime possess weapons of mass destruction unlike anything we have ever seen. General Zalnor's mandibles quivered in disbelief. Weapons of mass destruction on a death world. How is this possible? Commander Vexil nodded grimly. The Death Worlders have developed a technology based on harnessing the raw power of their hostile environment. They call it Stormfire, a terrifying weapon capable of unleashing devastating bolts of energy that can decimate entire fleets. The revelation struck General Zalnor like a thunderbolt, filling him with a mix of dread and fascination. The thought of a primitive species harnessing the destructive forces of nature itself was both awe-inspiring and deeply unsettling. We cannot allow the Death Worlders of Hades Prime to wield such power unchecked, General Zalnor declared, his voice resonating with determination. Prepare the fleet. We will bring the full might of the Galactic Federation to bear on this Death World, and ensure that the shocking truth about their weapons remains a mere cautionary tale. As holographic star charts illuminated the room, displaying the treacherous route to Hades Prime, General Zalnor steeled himself for the battle ahead. The fate of the Federation hung in the balance, as did the fragile harmony of the galaxy itself. With a resolute nod, General Zalnor turned to face the hologram of Hades Prime, its storm-laden skies swirling ominously. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had been revealed, and the stage was set for an epic confrontation that would test the limits of courage, technology, and the very essence of what it meant to be a warrior in the cosmos. As the Galactic Federation fleet surged through the void of space towards Hades Prime, General Zalnor stood on the deck of his flagship, the imposing warship known as the Celestial Fury. Around him, the hum of energy shields and the chatter of crew members filled the air, a symphony of preparation for the coming confrontation. The journey to the Death World had been fraught with peril, with the fleet navigating treacherous asteroid fields and gravitational anomalies that threatened to tear their ships apart. Yet, as they approached Hades Prime, a sense of grim determination settled over the crew, their eyes fixed on the storm-wracked planet looming ahead. General, we are receiving a transmission from the Death Worlders, Commander Vexil reported, his antennae twitching with uncertainty. Shall I patch it through? General Zalnor nodded, his gaze unwavering. The holographic image of a Death Worlder appeared before him, its reptilian features twisted into a snarl of defiance. You dare trespass on the sacred ground of Hades Prime, galactic interlopers. The Death World has spat, its voice filled with venom. You will know the true power of Stormfire and the wrath of our planet's champions. The transmission ended with a crackle of static, leaving an unsettling silence in its wake. General Zalnor knew that the Death Worlders were not to be underestimated, their resolve as fierce as the storms that raged across their planet but he also knew that the fate of the galaxy depended on their defeat. All ships, prepare for combat maneuvers, General Zalnor commanded, his voice reverberating through the celestial fury. We will strike swiftly and decisively, neutralizing the Death Worlder's weapon before it can be unleashed upon us. The fleet moved into position, 
forming a formidable battle formation as they descended towards the turbulent atmosphere of Hades Prime. Lightning crackled across the sky, illuminating the swirling clouds that masked the Deathworlder's hidden stronghold below. As the first skirmishes erupted between Federation ships and Deathworlder defenders, General Zalnor felt a surge of adrenaline course through him. The acrid taste of battle hung in the air, mingling with the scent of ozone and the distant howl of the storm winds. Commander Vexil set a course for the enemy stronghold. General Zalnor ordered, determination etched into his features. We will confront the Deathworlders head-on and put an end to their reign of terror. The celestial fury cut through the tempestuous skies of Hades Prime, its weapons primed and ready to unleash a storm of their own. As they closed in on the Deathworlders facility, the true magnitude of their foe's power became clear, with bolts of energy lashing out from the stronghold like the wrath of a vengeful god. Fire all cannons, target their power source. General Zelnor bellowed, his voice drowned out by the roar of weapons fire, as the Federation fleet unleashed a devastating barrage against the Deathworlders' defenses. Explosions blossomed across the battlefield, as the Deathworlders' stronghold buckled under the relentless assault their stormfire weapons flickering and fading into nothingness. Victory was within reach, but the cost had been high, with casualties mounting on both sides as the battle raged on. Amidst the chaos and carnage, General Zalnor stood resolute, his gaze fixed on the heart of the storm. The shocking truth about Deathworld weapons had been revealed, but it was through unity, courage and sacrifice that the galaxy would endure. As the last echoes of battle faded into the void, General Zalnor knew that the legacy of Hades Prime would live on, a cautionary tale of the price of unchecked power and the unbreakable spirit of those who dared to challenge the unknown. And as the debris of war drifted through the darkness, a new chapter began, one of hope, resilience, and the unwavering belief that even in the face of Deathworld weapons, the indomitable will of sentient beings would always prevail. The debris-strewn battlefield of Hades Prime bore witness to the fierce clash between the Galactic Federation fleet and the Deathworlders, the echoes of their conflict reverberating through the dark void of space. General Zalnor surveyed the aftermath from the bridge of the Celestial Fury, his gaze somber as he took in the wreckage of ships and the lingering tendrils of dissipating energy field. Status report, Commander Vexil. General Zalnor's voice cut through the tense silence that gripped the bridge. Commander Vexil, his usual air of confidence slightly shaken by the intensity of the battle, quickly consulted the monitors displaying real-time data from the fleet. Our forces have sustained heavy losses, General. Commander Vexil began, his tone grave. Multiple ships have been disabled, and casualties are significant. The Deathworlders fought with a ferocity and cunning that caught us off guard. General Zalnor nodded, his mandibles clenching in frustration. The Deathworlders' mastery of their environment and their deadly stormfire weapons had made them a formidable adversary, pushing the Federation fleet to its limits. The battle may be won, but the true challenge lies in securing a lasting peace with the Deathworlders, General Zalnor said, his gaze hardened with resolve. Prepare a diplomatic team. We will extend an olive branch to our former foes and seek to forge a new path forward. As the wreckage of the Deathworlders' stronghold drifted in the void, the Celestial Fury and the remaining Federation ships moved to establish a secure perimeter around Hades Prime. General Zalnor knew that the scars of war ran deep, but he also believed in the power of reconciliation and the potential for understanding between different species. A shuttle was dispatched to the surface of Hades Prime, carrying a team of diplomats led by Commander Vexil, tasked with initiating contact with the surviving Deathworlders and negotiating a ceasefire. The tension was palpable as they descended through the storm-laden atmosphere, the tumultuous skies above mirroring the uncertain path that lay ahead. Upon landing, the diplomats were met by a delegation of Deathworlders, their scales bristling with remnants of the battle, their eyes wary but not hostile. A tentative dialogue began, words of peace and reconciliation exchanged amidst the ruins of conflict. Through painstaking negotiations and mutual gestures of goodwill, a fragile truce was forged between the Galactic Federation and the Deathworlders of Hades Prime. Trade agreements were struck, cultural exchanges initiated, and the groundwork laid for a future of cooperation and understanding. General Zalnor watched from the Celestial Fury's bridge as the first signs of reconciliation between former enemies blossomed on the scarred surface of Hades Prime.
The shocking truth about Death World weapons had tested the very fabric of the galaxy, but in its wake emerged a glimmer of hope, a testament to the resilience of sentient beings and their capacity for growth and unity. As the shuttle bearing the diplomats returned to the Celestial Fury, General Zalnor knew that the legacy of Hades' prime would forever shape the course of galactic history. The tale of the Death Worlders and their fearsome weapons would endure as a cautionary reminder of the consequences of unchecked power, but also as a beacon of hope for a future where understanding and cooperation transcended the shadows of conflict. With the journey ahead uncertain but filled with promise, General Zelnor turned his gaze towards the distant stars, a renewed sense of purpose sparking within him. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had been revealed, but it was the lessons learned and the bonds forged in the aftermath of the storm that would define the galaxy's future, a future built on the pillars of unity, resilience, and the unbreakable spirit of all who dared to reach for the stars. In the aftermath of the conflict on Hades Prime, a fragile peace settled over the once ravaged planet, its storm-racked skies now bearing witness to the dawning of a new era. General Zalnor stood on the observation deck of the Celestial Fury, his gaze fixed upon the horizon where the silhouettes of Federation and Death Worlder ships intermingled, a testament to the fledgling alliance forged in the fires of war. As the delicate truce held firm, emissaries from both factions worked tirelessly to build bridges of understanding and collaboration. Trade flourished, scientific knowledge was shared, and cultural exchanges blossomed, each exchange a step towards building a future that transcended the scars of the past. General Zalnor watched with a mixture of pride and hope as the once hostile Death Worlders embraced the tenets of cooperation and mutual respect. The lessons learned from the conflict on Hades Prime had left an indelible mark on both sides, a reminder of the fragility of peace and the necessity of unity in the face of adversity. General, we have received a transmission from the Death Worlders High Council. Commander Vexil's voice broke through General Zalnor's reverie, drawing his attention back to the present. General Zalnor nodded, his mandibles twitching with anticipation. The unfolding events on Hades Prime had captured the imagination of the entire galaxy, with many races watching closely as the once bitter enemies navigated the delicate process of reconciliation. The holographic projection of the Death Worlders' High Council materialized before them, their reptilian features softened with a newfound sense of camaraderie. General Zalnor, we extend our thanks for your willingness to seek peace with us, the High Counselor spoke, his voice resonating with sincerity. The alliance forged between our peoples is a testament to the power of unity and understanding. General Zalnor acknowledged the High Counselor with a respectful nod, his own voice tinged with gratitude. The tide of war may have divided us, but it is through our shared experiences and common aspirations that we now stand united. The galaxy has witnessed the birth of a new alliance, one built on respect, cooperation, and the unwavering belief in a brighter future for all. The High Counselor's scales rippled in agreement, a nod of affirmation passing between them. Together, we shall chart a course towards a future where the shadows of conflict are but distant memories, and the bonds of friendship and cooperation guide our destinies. As the transmission concluded, General Zalnor turned to Commander Vexil, a spark of determination glinting in his eyes. Prepare the fleet. We have much work ahead of us as we solidify this alliance and embark on a journey towards a future of unity and prosperity for all sentient beings. With the celestial fury at the forefront, the Galactic Federation fleet set a course towards new horizons, their mission clear to uphold the values of peace, cooperation and understanding that had emerged from the crucible of war on Hades Prime. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had been revealed, but it was the bonds of friendship and the courage to seek reconciliation that would define the galaxy's destiny, a destiny woven from the threads of hope and the unbreakable spirit of hope and the unbreakable spirit of ho solidarity that transcended the vast reaches of space. As the Galactic Federation fleet sailed through the cosmos, their destination loomed on the horizon, a grand assembly of worlds known as the Galactic Homecoming. This momentous event brought together representatives from countless star systems, each eager to witness the unveiling of the new alliance forged between the Federation and the Death Worlders of Hades Prime. General Zalnor stood at the helm of the Celestial Fury, the flagship leading the procession towards the Galactic Homecoming. 
the vast expanse of space shimmered with the light of distant stars, a celestial backdrop befitting the historic occasion that awaited them. General, we are approaching the galactic homecoming coordinates, Commander Vexil announced, his antennae quivering with a mix of excitement and anticipation. General Zalnor nodded, his mandibles clacking together in a show of determination. The journey to this moment had been fraught with challenges, but the bonds forged between the Federation and the Death Worlders had proven stronger than the spectre of war. As the fleet entered the bustling spaceport of the Galactic Homecoming, a sense of unity and camaraderie filled the air. Alien species from all corners of the galaxy mingled in harmony, their differences set aside in celebration of the newfound alliance that promised a future of cooperation and peace. The representatives from Hades Prime, their scales shimmering with pride, stood alongside the Galactic Federation delegation, a symbol of the reconciliation that had defied the odds and united former adversaries in a shared vision of progress and a shared vision of progress. Understanding, amidst the throngs of delegates and onlookers, General Zalnor and the High Counselor of the Death World as stepped forward, their presence commanding the attention of all gathered before them. People of the Galactic Homecoming, General Zalnor's voice carried across the assembly, his words echoing through the vast chamber. We stand before you today not as conquerors or enemies, but as allies united in a shared purpose. To build a future where peace, cooperation and unity reign supreme. The High Counselor of the Death Worlders spoke next, his words weaving a tapestry of hope and unity that resonated throughout the chamber. The alliance forged between our peoples is a beacon of light in a galaxy darkened by conflict and strife. Together, we shall navigate the challenges ahead with courage, resilience, and a steadfast commitment to the ideals that bind us as one. A wave of applause and cheers filled the spaceport, a chorus of approval from beings of all walks of life who had borne witness to the unfolding of a historic moment. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had led to an unexpected alliance, one that would forever alter the course of galactic history and inspire generations to come. As the galactic homecoming continued in a spirit of celebration and camaraderie, General Zalnor and the High Counselor of the Death Worlders exchanged a knowing glance, their shared vision of a brighter future set into motion. The galaxy had witnessed the birth of a new alliance, one built on the foundations of courage, understanding, and the unwavering belief in the power of unity. And as the Celestial Fury and the Federation fleet prepared to embark on a new chapter of exploration and cooperation, General Zalnor knew that the legacy of Hades Prime and the shocking truth about Death World weapons would forever serve as a reminder of the resilience and unity that defined the galaxy's unwavering spirit. The galactic homecoming marked not just a moment of reunion, but a promise of a future where the stars themselves bore witness to the triumph of hope over fear and the enduring strength of the galaxy's boundless potential. With the resounding success of the galactic homecoming, and the establishment of a strong and enduring alliance between the Galactic Federation and the Death Worlders of Hades Prime. A sense of harmony and optimism spread throughout the galaxy. The echoes of war had faded into the void, replaced by the symphony of cooperation and unity that resonated among the diverse races that called the cosmos home. General Zalnor, now hailed as a hero and a visionary leader, continued to lead the Galactic Federation with steadfast resolve and a commitment to upholding the values of peace and understanding. The bond forged with the Death Worlders had blossomed into a partnership that transcended mere diplomacy, evolving into a profound friendship that served as a beacon of hope for all sentient beings. As the Federation and their newfound allies embarked on joint ventures in exploration, scientific research, and cultural exchange, the seeds of cooperation bore fruit enriching the galaxy with a tapestry of knowledge, art, and shared experiences that celebrated the richness of diversity and the strength of unity. Across the star systems, stories of the shocking truth about Death World weapons and the profound transformation that had taken place on Hades Primes parked conversations and inspired new generations to embrace the values of compassion, cooperation, and mutual respect. Amidst the backdrop of a universe in harmony, celebrations and festivals flourished, bringing together beings from all walks of life to revel in the wonders of the cosmos. The galactic homecoming had set the stage for a new era, one where unity triumphed over division, 
and the collective aspirations of sentient beings propelled them towards a future filled with endless possibilities. General Zalnor walked through the bustling corridors of the Galactic Federation's central hub, his presence a symbol of the unity and resilience that defined their shared journey. As he passed by species of all shapes and sizes, their expressions filled with hope and camaraderie, he couldn't help but feel a swell of pride in the progress they had made together. General Zalnor, a familiar voice called out, drawing his attention. It was the High Counselor of the Death Worlders, a warm smile gracing his reptilian features. High Counselor, it is good to see you, General Zalnor greeted him with a respectful nod. Our alliance has brought about a new era of cooperation and understanding that has surpassed even our most optimistic expectations. The High Counselor nodded in agreement, his eyes reflecting the shared journey they had embarked upon. Indeed, General, the galaxy is a tapestry of diversity, each thread woven together to create a harmonious whole. Our alliance stands as a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. As they walked side by side, General Zalnor and the High Counselor continued their conversation, their voices filled with optimism and a shared hope for the future. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had led to a revelation that transcended the horrors of war, paving the way for a galaxy where cooperation, compassion and unity reigned supreme. And as the stars shimmered in the vast expanse of space, a chorus of voices rose in harmony across the cosmos, celebrating the triumph of unity and the promise of a future where the shocking truths of the past served as guiding lights towards a brighter tomorrow, a tomorrow where the galaxy thrived as a harmonious cosmos, bound together by the unbreakable spirit of shared dreams and undying hope. In the wake of the resounding success of the Galactic Federation's alliance with the Death Worlders of Hades Prime, a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity enveloped the galaxy. The echoes of conflict had faded into distant memories, replaced by a harmonious coexistence among the myriad species that called the cosmos home. General Zalnor, revered as a beacon of unity and progress, continued to guide the Federation with a steady hand and a vision of a future where cooperation and understanding flourished. As the Galactic Alliance embarked on ambitious projects of exploration, colonization, and scientific discovery, the bonds of friendship between species grew stronger, woven into the very fabric of their shared journey. The legacy of the shocking truth about Death World weapons, once a stark reminder of the perils of unchecked power, had transformed into a testament to the resilience and determination of sentient beings to forge a better, more peaceful future. On a vibrant world teeming with life and diversity, representatives from across the galaxy gathered for the unveiling of the Unity Monument, a towering beacon that symbolized the unbreakable bond between the Galactic Federation and the Death Worlders. General Zalnor and the High Counselor of the Death Worlders stood side by side, their eyes alight with pride as they watched the monument rise towards the heavens. People of the galaxy, General Zalnor's voice resonated through the throngs of attendees, his words filled with a sense of reverence. Today, we stand before you to celebrate not just the triumph of our alliance, but the enduring legacy of unity that defines our shared journey through the cosmos. The shocks of the past have given way to the harmony of the present, a testament to the power of cooperation and understanding in driving us towards a future of boundless possibility. The High Counselor of the Death Worlders, echoed General Zalnor's sentiments, his voice carrying across the gathered crowd. The journey we have undertaken together, from the revelation of Death World weapons to the forging of an unbreakable bond, serves as a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the light of unity can guide us towards a brighter tomorrow. Let this monument stand as a beacon of hope, a reminder of the enduring strength that can be found in diversity and cooperation. As the Unity Monument cast its radiant light across the world, a sense of awe and inspiration filled the hearts of all who beheld it. The galaxy stood united, a tapestry of races and cultures intertwined in a shared destiny of peace, progress and understanding. The shocking truth about Death World weapons had led to a revelation that transcended fear and division, paving the way for a future where the resilience and unity of sentient beings shone as bright as the stars themselves. General Zalnor and the High Counselor exchanged a solemn nod, their eyes reflecting the shared pride and hope that permeated the moment. The legacy of unity had taken root in the hearts of all who bore witness, a legacy that would endure across the expanse of the cosmos, 
guiding future generations towards a destiny built on the unshakable foundation of cooperation, compassion, and the unwavering spirit of unity. In the wake of the unveiling of the Unity Monument, the galaxy resonated with a renewed sense of purpose and camaraderie. General Zalnor and the High Counselor of the Death Worlders stood at the forefront of this new chapter, their leadership inspiring hope and optimism among the diverse races that now embraced a future built on unity and cooperation. As the Galactic Alliance embarked on a bold mission to explore uncharted regions of the cosmos, a sense of anticipation filled the hearts of all who gazed towards the horizon. The legacy of the shocking truth about Deathworld weapons and the alliance that had emerged from its revelation served as a guiding light, illuminating the path towards a future of exploration, discovery, and shared prosperity. On the bridge of the Celestial Fury, General Zalnor surveyed the star charts that lay before him, a map of uncharted territories and distant galaxies waiting to be explored. Commander Vexil stood by his side, his antennae quivering with excitement at the prospect of venturing into the unknown. General, the fleet is prepared and awaiting your command to engage the hyperdrive, Commander Vexil announced, his gaze fixed on the shimmering expanse of space beyond the ship's viewports. General Zalnor nodded, a spark of determination gleaming in his eyes. Initiate the hyperdrive sequence. It is time to embark on a new chapter of our journey, a chapter filled with promise, adventure, and the boundless possibilities that await us among the stars. As the Celestial Fury and the Federation fleet surged forward into the depths of space, the galaxy echoed with a chorus of hope and unity. New alliances were formed, old rivalries set aside, as the shared vision of a harmonious cosmos guided the way forward. Through uncharted nebulae and cosmic wonders, the Galactic Alliance pushed the boundaries of exploration, their ships braving the unknown with courage and determination. Each new discovery, each encounter with alien civilizations, served as a testament to the resilience and spirit of cooperation that defined their shared voyage through the cosmos. Upon reaching a distant star system, teeming with vibrant planets and celestial anomalies, General Zalnor and the High Counselor of the Death Worlders stood side by side once more, their eyes reflecting the awe and wonder of the newfound frontier that lay before them. Here, at the edge of the galaxy, we stand united in our quest for knowledge, understanding and friendship, General Zalnor proclaimed, his voice carrying across the vast expanse of space. Together, we shall continue to reach for the stars, to explore the mysteries of the universe, and to forge bonds that transcend the boundaries of race, creed and origin. The High Counselor of the Death Worlders echoed General Zalnor's sentiments, his words filled with a sense of shared purpose and unwavering determination. As we move towards the horizon of a new dawn, let us remember that the legacy of unity and cooperation is the compass that guides us through the uncharted reaches of the cosmos. Together, we stand as one, a beacon of hope and solidarity amidst the infinite expanse of the universe. And with the stars as their witness, General Zalnor and the High Counselor gazed towards the horizon, their spirits intertwined in a bond that transcended the vastness of space, an eternal testament to the enduring power of unity, friendship, and the unyielding spirit of exploration that defined the galaxy's boundless potential. With the entropy beasts vanquished, and the cosmos reborn through the tireless efforts of the Coalition of Unity, a newfound sense of tranquility settled over the galaxies that comprised the vast universe. The legacy of Captain Rivera, Chancellor Varanos, and Elder Yushara remained as a guiding light, inspiring generations to come with the values of cooperation, empathy, and unity that had saved the cosmos from oblivion. As the Coalition of Unity continued to thrive, its influence extending across the stars and spanning into the furthest reaches of known space, new alliances were forged and old animosities were set aside in the spirit of progress and harmony. The alliance became a beacon of hope in a universe fraught with uncertainties, a testament to the enduring power of unity in the face of adversity. Through their collective efforts, the Coalition's member civilizations unlocked the secrets of the cosmos, delving into the mysteries of the universe with insatiable curiosity and boundless courage. They charted new worlds, encountered beings of unimaginable diversity, and marveled at the wonders that lay hidden within the fabric of reality itself. But as the coalition stood at the precipice of a new age, 
A shadow loomed on the horizon, one that threatened to test the Alliance's resolve like never before. A rift in the fabric of space and time had been torn open, unleashing a force of unimaginable power that sought to consume all in its path, leading to the emergence of a cosmic entity known as the Riftweaver. Captain Rivera, Chancellor Varanos, and Elder Yashara knew that the Alliance faced its greatest challenge yet, one that would require the combined strength of every species, every civilization, and every being across the galaxies to confront and an overcome. They called upon their allies once more, rallying them for the ultimate battle against the Riftweaver, a being that defied comprehension and threatened to unravel the very fabric of existence itself. As the Coalition's forces amassed, a sense of determination and unity reverberated through the cosmos. Ships from every corner of known space stood ready, their inhabitants united in purpose and resolve, prepared to face the Riftweaver and its unfathomable power with courage and unwavering conviction. The battle that ensued was a cosmic symphony of light and darkness, a clash of titanic forces that shook the very foundations of the universe. The Alliance fought with unparalleled valor and resilience, standing against the tide of chaos and destruction unleashed by the Riftweaver with a tenacity that spoke of the strength of their unity and the depth of their resolve. And as the final confrontation reached its climax, the Alliance emerged victorious, the Riftweaver vanquished, and the cosmos spared from ultimate destruction. Peace settled once more over the galaxies, and the legacy of the Coalition of Unity endured, a shining beacon of hope and inspiration in a universe filled with wonders and perils beyond imagining. As the stars twinkled in the vast expanse of space, a new chapter began in the infinite cosmos, where the laughter that had once mocked the tiny human ship had given way to a symphony of voices united in purpose and solidarity, echoing through the universe for eternity, a testament to the enduring power of cooperation, understanding and unity in the face of challenges that transcended the boundaries of time and space.